the government currently is doing a fertilizer subsidy program to basically help uh, farmers access uh, fertilizer that is uh, of the correct content, that is of the correct uh, quantity, and that we are also providing advisory services on how they should apply and use uh, these inputs. We are likely to have a better harvest. And then that sets the stage properly for us now to concern ourselves with how do we move from harvest to minimize post-harvest losses and to create a retail channel whereby, for example, grains and other commodities can be sorted, polished, and sort of given the correct value and then stored over a period of time such that then when trade happens, uh, everybody can get their fair price from all of these. So the warehouse receipt systems is actually an integral and extremely important part of our national food security system. It's an important part of putting uh, incomes in the pockets of farmers. It's an important part to ensure that our current 30% post-harvest losses that we are experiencing are actually reduced or hopefully eliminated at some point. And it is also playing a role in ensuring that financial institutions actually are able to get new opportunities in an area which should provide lots of uh, exposure to them, but currently is not because this market is not structured. So the warehouse uh, receipt systems is basically also then providing fresh new avenues for our financial services sector to create products, deepen their loan books, reach out to customers, particularly even in uh, the rural areas, and that's how you build a strong financial system, one that has strong roots to the production sector, which in this case is deeply agricultural. We are putting up with the county uh, governments, uh, industrial and aggregation uh, parks that will allow farmers to basically aggregate produce, but not only that, they will be able to also do some value addition that also makes those products shelf stable, ready to be sold, packaged and sometimes even export. The second thing is infrastructure. We are in need of developing silos, uh, we are in need of developing critical storage infrastructure including cold storage infrastructure for certain commodities that then can ensure that they remain ambient and they do not get spoiled and that they are uh, uh, able to be traded uh, over a period of time. So investment in this kind of infrastructure is extremely important and this is a huge opportunity for the private sector also to invest and also for the financial services sector to be able to see this as a potential um, 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 opportunity for them to uh, deepen their loan books in areas such as cold storage, uh, silos, um, logistics hubs, and all those kind of um, 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 sectors that provide services to agricultural commodities. My message to the financial services sector is this. Um, agriculture is a key part of our GDP. It provides lots of opportunities for you to deliver financing and financial products to various actors in that value chain, be it insurance products, be it trade finance products, be it balance sheet related financing and so on and so forth. What previously has made this sector a bit shy from being exposed to the agricultural sector, particularly at the smallholder level, is that the legal and regulatory system that basically helps for risks to be identified risks to be contained and that the financial institutions are able to structure a product around that, this is what we are aiming to solve with the Warehouse Receipt Systems uh, uh, Council and based on the new legal and regulatory environment that we are hoping to put together in partnership with financial institutions, we hope that their loan portfolio for uh, agricultural commodities will rise far above what it is currently.